Hi, I'm Marcos Torres. I teach at Corona High School in Corona, California, in the county of Riverside. I teach ninth grade language arts, ninth grade sheltered language arts, and 10th grade AVID. AVID is a program designed for uh, students in the academic middle. And what AVID uh, helps to do is to uh, bridge the connection of those students into uh, four-year universities. One metaphor that, uh, that I think about um, that guides my teaching uh, that I once heard from one of my professors was that uh, teaching was much like agriculture and that uh, there's a time for sowing seeds, uh, there's a time for watering seeds, there's a time for harvesting, and there's a time for plowing. And uh, I think that's an extremely relevant metaphor um, and I'd like to continue to add to that metaphor in my thinking uh, as it uh, pertains to the classroom in all its specificities. Um, and I, I look at it as well with a similar metaphor um, and I extend it to the, to the that we really are kind of like um, workers on a, in a plant nursery and that we get plants from all over that uh, they come from different regions, different parts of the world uh, and that uh, we have the responsibility of figuring out, doing the research, um, tapping into prior knowledge of uh, other professionals uh, online or wherever it is we can find information on how best to tend to and take care of these uh, different, um, different plants, different students, of course. And um, what I think is, uh, what, what I like about this metaphor is it, is it includes all the diversity that, that we uh, work with on a daily basis and then at the same time uh, reminds us about the importance of our job and what we bring uh, towards those beautiful things that, that, that the gifts that we've been given to take care of um, and in doing so and intending to those gifts and intending to those plants um, there's remarkable things there's incredible uh, moments of beauty small moments of beauty that if you're not there tending intending attentively you'll miss and so uh, I believe it's really it's incredibly important to, to not only tend but to tend well uh, to the gifts that you're given to tend well to those plants to to learn them to know them um, as far as classroom management uh, and, and, and how that pertains it's really important to learn about your students to take the time and the opportunity to learn about their lives to learn about their culture, if they're from a different culture, um, to consider their stories, their experiences, to give them voice and an opportunity to speak and to share, um, to ask them to make connections to the literature that you're teaching or to make relevancy of the lesson you're teaching as it pertains to their lives. Um, I never take for granted a single opportunity to tap into learning more about those students um, in walking the room, uh, you know, lots of students have the, uh, these clear folders with uh, scores of different pictures of friends or things they might like. And there's a wonderful opportunity right there to just do a little check-in and uh, ask a student if you're curious about something you may see. Um, and you'll, you'll get wonderful stories of things they're interested in or histories of family members or stories about uh, things that they want to do in their lives. And so those right there are, are a wealth of resource that we just have to tap into. Um, much like studying and looking closely at uh, the effects of how overwatering a plant is going to make it rot out or underwatering is going to make it dry and wilt. So um, these are the types of things that, uh, that we do um, to make sure that we develop a good relationship with our students. One, a rapport that um, that treats and recognizes these students as humans, human beings uh, with stories, human beings with uh, valuable input into our lives uh, as well as ours into theirs. And so and when we do that, that really strengthens the community. It makes it a safe place and a successful learning environment is a safe learning environment and uh, students really appreciate that. So in the responsibility of tending to this nursery this greenhouse, if you will, that we call a classroom. Uh, it's really vital that we, uh, that we not take for granted that opportunity and all the little opportunities we have along the way uh, to make meaningful uh, impact on these children's lives.